हेलो एवरीवन आई एम एस पी मंकनी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वर्किंग ऑफ मीटर आउट सर्क्यूट्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ मीटर आउट सर्क्यूट्स सो हियर दिस अ मीटर आउट सर्क्यूट डायग्राम सो हियर इनिशियली वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द ऑल पार्ट्स इन डिटेल देन वील गो फॉर द एक्चुअल वर्किंग ऑफ दिस मीटर आउट सर्क्यूट्स so here this one is a reservoir and the oil is through this filter is going to be filtered then it comes to the pump pump is coupled with the motor when the motor is in the operating operation condition so that time this oil is going to be pumped in the upward direction so here whenever this oil is at a higher pressure than the defined pressure so this is going to be indicating here as a pressure gauge so whenever it crosses the defined or the preset pressure so that time this comes in the action so means this oil whatever the oil is coming through this way so this is the particular portion where it is coming in the action so means here you are going to be understanding as whenever it crosses the defined or it is a set pressure so that time it is going to be linked so then the oil is going to be uh, through this particularly it comes to the reservoir so in the next diagram we are going to see the detail so here the simple diagram this pressure whenever it crosses the designed or the defined pressure so that time it comes through this way and it is going to be linked here so this is also in the red color only because it is a higher pressure so the oil is going to be uh, through this particularly pipe it comes to the reservoir so means it avoids the excess pressure so whatever the oil is going to be flowing through this way so it is avoiding the excess pressure so here then whatever the pressure we have defined that pressure through that particularly pressure the oil is coming through this particularly the control system so this is you are going to be considering it as a four way two position manually operated spring loaded dc valve so this particularly dc valve here it is a two parts this is one and this is two so here this is a two way position manually operated spring loaded dc valve in the previous lecture you might have seen the details of this particular as a four way uh, and a three position so here we are taken as a two positions so the oil whatever it is coming high pressure oil it is going to be passing through this way then it comes to the uh, uh, this piston and cylinder arrangement so here this piston and cylinder arrangement we are going to be considering here as a so this is as a inlet this as a inlet means this we are going to be taken as a outlet so means this is one position you are going to be taken as a inlet and another position is coming as a outlet so this is related with the only piston and cylinder arrangements so here this is the controlling the oil you are going to be using this particular valve so then this is the flow control valve with the integral check valve so here so then it comes to this once again back to the so this through this particular pipe it comes to the reservoir so these are the components of this particular as a circuit diagram so now we are going with the detail working of this one so here just the same diagram without any additional information you have taken this as a next diagram so here if you observe the oil through this particularly filter so it comes to this one so then it flowing through this because we have attached this particularly the wall is concerned two way wall in that we have taken this as a directly the flowing wall so through this it comes to this one so it is going to be acting the pressure on the piston head it is going to act the pressure on the piston head so when acting the pressure on the piston head it is going to uh, moving it in the backward direction moving it in the backward direction so that time the whatever the oil is available here whatever the oil is available here that will come through this particular way so that will come through this particular way so means here it is coming through this way so then it comes to this one so here what exactly the difference you are going to be observing as far as the uh, meter in and meter out circuit in meter in circuit whatever the inlet is going to be taken place here the controlling is going to be taken place here so here at the outlet you are going to be taken as a controlling this particular as a outlet whatever it is coming it is going to be controlling so here majorly the students are going to get a confusion with the meter in and meter out circuits so in the both the way whenever it is inlet it is becoming so that time here it is a inlet and this is a outlet so that time we are going to be controlling here so this particularly two parts they are going to be getting as a meter in or a meter out as a confusion so to avoid that particular difficulties or a confusion is concerned i have taken meter in as a separate and meter out as a separate so now we are going with a particular as a meter out meter out is nothing but only 
you are going to control the uh, oil which is coming out from the piston and cylinder arrangement. So means it is going to be coming out. This oil is going to be controlled. This oil is going to be controlled here. So in the first this figure, you are going to be getting this as an inlet. So it it doesn't have any uh, controlling system here. Directly it comes to this one. So then that oil is coming through this. Here it is a restricted because this is the wall is closed. So here there is no flow of the oil is concerned. This is blocked. So when this is blocked, the total oil has to come through this way. And here there is a controlling arrangement. You have shown this as an arrow mark means it is going to be controlled. So whenever it is operated, that controlled oil is coming through this way. Because of that, you are going to be calling this as a meter out. Meter out is nothing but the outlet of the oil is going to be controlled. So that is meter out system. So here in the next figure, so here you will, the, the same controlling system in this diagram, here we applied as a, only one side as a uh, meter out. That is the outlet you are going to be controlling. In the next figure, we are going to be controlling this side as well as this side. So there the confusion part starts. So here just you can observe it once again the same components. This is the relief wall and this, is a mo uh, this pump. And here it is going to be a high pressure oil is coming through this way. And this is 4 by 3. 4 by 3. 4 ports and 3 controls. So that is the direction control wall. 1, 2 and 3. This is the normal position. So whatever the oil is coming here, it is back, drained back to the tank once again. And here we are going to be manually operated. This is going to be shifted. In the first case, we are going to be shifted this side. And the second case, we are going to be shifted to this side. So that operation you are going to be observing the uh, next uh, particular uh, this animation animation diagram. So here just you can observe it here. So this is whenever the oil is going to be flowing this way. Just you can observe the oil is going to be flowing this way high pressure oil suppose. So that oil whatever it is there it is going to flow in this direction. So here the flow is going to be taken place. Here there is no flow through this way. Here there is no flow through this way because it is off. And this is going to be flowing through this way means it is inlet is coming as if it is a there is no constraint in the inlet is concerned in the previous diagram I have shown it as there is no constraint in the flow is concerned in the in this diagram you observed as there is no constraint or there is no restriction here the oil is going to be flowing through this way the same thing is shown here as a with the one control this is a flow controller so through this way the oil is going to be flowing this one and then it comes to the this side so because inlet you are not controlled we are not controlled inlet. Inlet is given directly. And the, whenever it is going to be pushing its backside, so this oil is coming out. This is going to be restricted now. This is the important for meter, meter out circuit. Meter out. This is important now. Huh? This oil is coming outside like this. So whenever it is coming, here it is restricted. So it is not permitted to flow through this way. So this is closed. And the oil has to flow this way only. Here it is a controlled. So means meter out, outside you are going to be controlling, whatever the outside it is coming that is going to be controlled. So then it come back, then it will come to the, uh, this reservoir. The same thing, it is going to be applied as a reverse, if it is going to be applied as a reverse. So if you take it this one as a 1, 2 and this is 3. 2 is normal, 1 is a straight and another is a cross. So if you apply this one, so that time that oil is going to be flowing through this way. Oil is going to be flowing through this way. So here just you can observe. So while it is flowing through this way, so this is going to be in the operation. This is going to be opened. So that time this is going to be closed. So just I will go with the black color line now just to differentiate it. This is closed now while it is moving in this direction. So that oil comes through this way and then it is going to be flowing through this way and inlet there is no restriction. Inlet there is no restrictions. So here this is closed and inlet there is no restrictions. So it is coming as an inlet and whatever the load is coming this side now. Load is coming this side now because it is going to be coming in this way. It is moving in this directions. Retardation is going to be taken place. This is expansion, this is retardation. So while it is moving in this way, so this is now, it is moving in this way. So that time, so it is going to be pressure is created here and that oil is coming here. So when this oil is coming here, this is restricted. This is restricted that time. Black color, I am showing it. This is restricted. So now this is opened. So means outlet of oil, once again, it is going to be controlled. Means it is called as a meter out circuits. Okay, you observed as a meter out circuits as well as controlling this side as well as controlling this side. Whenever there is a, both the figures are coming in the single figure, both this particular class coming in the single figure, that time usually used to get a confusion. 
so to avoid that one just to remember as outlet is going to be control that is meter out inlet is going to be control that is meter in in the previous lecture here just you can observe the working whatever the oil is going to be flowing through this way and it will come this way the same thing is going to be happening when it is going to be a normal flow this is coming this way and it is going to be flowing through this way this is closed and this is acting now it will come to this inlet and outside this yellow color whatever representing this is not going to be flowing this one this is closed so that time this is in the working condition the same thing is going to be repeated for once again just for understanding purpose now you can observe here this is the flow is going to be taken place through this way this is we are going to be calling it as a meter out circuits i hope you are observing this in clearly this flow red color is a high pressure and it will come and outside yellow color we are going to be restricted by flowing through this way this is closed that time so now there is a small uh, what are applications of meter out circuits so here meter out circuit is ideal for overloading load applications in which workload tends to pull an operating piston faster than the pumps a delivery would warrant so here examples would be for drilling reaming boring turning and uh, threading tapping cutting off and cold swing machines uh, cold cold saving machines sorry so these are the application parts of this meter out circuits so here for the further detail you can refer this particular site as well as oil hydraulics systems by sr mujumdar thank you